Kenya ladies open uh, over, over there. And uh, Mukami, first of all, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys in studio? We are fine, and Swila has moved a motion that next time at a CC to to talk up at studio sana. Next time it will be us on the other side. <laughs> Hi, yeah, you know it's the Ke magical Kenya ladies open, so you know we need to have a lady representing on this side. Do you think of Swila? Can wear a wig. <laughs> Actually, Mukami has grown whiter since she went down south. <laughs> it's everything. There's oh, yeah. no stress. Like, all right, Mukami, uh, tell us how how everything is uh, is going over down there at the coast. Well, Willis, the tournament started on 96 golfers from around 23 countries who came to take part at the Magical Kenya Ladies Open. This is part of the Ladies European Tour and it is the first time ever that they've had it start off in Africa, which just shows how much Kenya is progressing. It was at the Bikingo Ridge, it's a beautiful course, it's meant to too far. And, you know, some of the things that um, we noticed that is super unique to this course was that there were animals on the course. So as the golfers were playing, they had giraffes, they had zebras, you know, two of those, those giraffes were actually rescued and, and they were adopted by Bipingo Ridge. So it was one, a sight to see. And, you know, a lot of the foreign golfers were just excited to see sites like that. But just on to the actual tournament, it was a really tough one. You know, the wind was absolutely crazy and it gave the golfers a tough time. Um, the winner was Esther Henseliet. She is German and she's actually defended her title because she's the one who won the inaugural edition in 2019. So that just shows you. And you know, in golf, it's really difficult for you to win a tournament back to back because this is four days of consistent golfing. And you know, like last year, she snatched the the title in the final day you know we'd had a leader um who had been leading her name is strom linear strom she had been leading throughout from thursday to friday to saturday and going into the final day she was two shots ahead of esther and she lost it she had a really tough day um i think nerves creeped in and yeah so we had her win but back to i think what's more important is all about the Kenyan golfers who took part, you know. The organizers, UCOM, have uh, some invites to give out around 10, and they managed to give Kenya five of them, but one of the Kenyan golfers had to leave early due to injury. Her name is Janelle. But the other four took part. Um, our only professional golfer, Bavisha, unfortunately, she had um she did not perform as well as, as i think she expected she got 20 over par which is 20 shots over 72 when doing the course over the the, the period and then we also had faith chamtai who got around 17 over par and then naomi so they didn't do so well they were one of the bottom golfers but i think we have to give a special shout out to masi nyanchama she actually finished um, in position 75. She got because the cutoff mark to get into the third and final round was um, actually um, 11 over par because of the difficulty of the course. And she missed out by just three shots, um, getting um, 14 uh, uh, par. So um, it was a good four days. I think um, there's a lot of um, you know, development in terms of golf. The magical Kenya Open is coming up next, and you know, it's it's making it a golfing tourist destination because uh, I'm sure a lot of these players will be back just on holiday. And you know, it was televised to 270 million viewers, so a lot of people were watching and seeing these sites, and hopefully, we'll be seeing them in Kenya at some point. All right. Well, I tell you what. Uh it is very interesting. And by the way, people need to keep learning some of that golfing lingo. But it's actually, it's a good thing to, to, to you know, market uh, the country and just even the people who, who, whose eyes are on Kenya. So these are some of the events that uh, is it's a good marketing tool. 
And a big up to the ladies. Yeah. Yeah, big up to the ladies. And as uh, Mukami says, uh, for me, the take home is uh, marketing our our yeah. country as uh, uh, one that has good golfing facilities, uh, world class uh, event. Remember, this has been beamed to over 200 nations, as Mukami says. We had top, top athletes in, uh, in the golfing arena coming here to compete. And you could see the German uh, defended uh, the title. Uh, two, I think Brand Kenya needs to take a uh, good opportunity with this kind of tournaments and probably even see how can we partner even with some of the local uh, stations to, to even beam this uh, right. here. Yeah. And for long, you see, golf has been seen as an elitist sport. Mm -hmm. How do we popularize it? How do you take it uh, to Mashinani? How can uh, those school kids also start to play golf? Because when you say golf, people think that's an elitist man. It's for the rich. But now we need to to to, to, to actually uh, take it to the common manainji, uh, popularize it. And I think that was good because this coming at a time when we've just hosted the, the safari rally again in uh, Naivasha over the weekend. Yes. Uh, four days back to back. Mm. And uh, not long from now, that's around June, we'll be hosting again. The, the, the WRC, Safari Rally. Yeah. Kenya gonna host this six years back to back. This is what Amina able, was able to negotiate when she was in France uh, last week. Mm -hmm. So th that's a good thing. It's a good, it's and uh, shortly after June again, uh, Kenya will be going to, to, to the UK to compete in the Commonwealth Games. So again, we hope to showcase our, our ability there and market our country. So it's a, a fully packed sports calendar. We are going to have the World Championship again in Oregon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Again, we hope Kenya can do well. After that, in November, we are having the World Cup Finals right. being held in, in, the, in, the, in, in, uh, in, in the winter. The year is over. But Counting the unfortunate election. thing is that in all these big events I'm talking about, mm -hmm. Kenya will have very strong presence, yeah. except for the World Cup, where again will be joy riders. <laughs> but but uh, not even joy riders, but we'll be, we'll be going there as, as spectators, yes. so to speak. Yeah. So uh, for golf, I think we've done extremely well. Mm -hmm. But sadly, as we are making great progress, more so in motorsport, uh, the Federation has done very, very well on that front. Uh, you look at golf again very, very well. Remember, we held last year's event uh, uh, without the fans due to COVID. Mm -hmm. And again, you can see last year's safari rally that was held in Naivasha was the most watched of the series. Yeah, I just don't have the figure, but it was the most watched. Mm -hmm. Yeah, billions of people followed the action in Naivasha. So that tells you, and we even had the, 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 some of the drivers saying, this is an amazing country. Yeah. I came here to compete. I was on the wheel. I think it was Ajay who said Ajay, and he's yeah. coming back. Yeah, and he said, I, I did not really whether to, to stop my car, take a photo of the zebra, <laughs> or just continue competing. And yes. said, next time I'm coming to Kenya, I'm actually coming for holiday. Mm. So that tells you how, how the potential we have, the mm. beauty of our country. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the things uh, that actually is a regret. Juma actually is one person that probably brand Kenya or the Ministry of Sport should have also used just to to market what we have, yeah. but they never did that. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, may his soul rest in peace, but we didn't give him his uh, the deals he deserved. He, when he was... deserved much, much more. Yes. But these are learning lessons. Unfortunately, is that as this, uh, as Kenya is making progress in other sports mm -hmm. disciplines, in football, we seem to be making Regressing, is it? 10 steps back, ten back, if I may yeah. use that word, Yes, unfortunately. Before we talk about that, I just want to bring in Mukami one more time.